In the country comparison, for this year, Nigeria rank 154 out of 180 countries. Five places down compared to 2022 Corruption Perception Index results. This shows significantly that corruption in Nigeria is still a major challenge which require collective efforts to combat corruption in Nigeria. As we have seen clearly, corruption in Nigeria has helped to underdeveloped Nigeria. It has also helped expose Nigerians to a serious security risks and danger. It has also helped to make life miserable and totally unaffordable to ordinary Nigerians. It has also upturned our Balu system negatively. So corruption in all aspects, in all ramifications, is a major challenge to us. As a matter of fact, corruption has totally affected governance, good governance in this country. And that is where we are concerned as patriotic, responsible citizens to see that we do everything possible to support the sincere effort of government to combat corruption and ensure free, corrupt society and country so that Nigerians should deserve decency of life. The Corruption Perception Index aggregates data from eight different sources that provide perception by country experts and business people on the level of corruption in the public sector. While the index does not show specific instances of corruption in the country, it indicates the perception of corruption in Nigeria. The index is completely impartial, objective, and globally acknowledged as the most widely used cross-country parameter for measuring corruption. The Corruption Perception Index result comes at a point when Nigeria, as a country, is battling with rising nationwide insecurity, higher unemployment, and damning revelation around public finance management. What recently the Auditor General and the investigative journalists, among others, have shown in their reports. While the data used for Corruption Perception Index is not collected by Transparency International Nigeria, CISLAG, or its partners, the data is collection or is gathered by independent and reputable organization with sound methodologies. Some of these sources, Nigerian government itself is a member of those you know, agencies or foundations that help to provide ranking in their annual reports. In fact, Nigeria even borrow money from IMF, which one of the sources is equally IMF, and other sources that Nigeria is very, very much involved with. So it is not done by CISLAC or Transparency International, it is done by those reputable you know, organization that Nigerian government as a country is part and parcel of those institutions. So therefore, it is important to stress that Corruption Perception Index is this not an assessment of the Nigerian government anti-corruption efforts. 
we are not measuring the performance of government anti-corruption. Neither are we also measuring the performance of EFCC or ICPC. It is rather focusing at public sector corruption. So it is important we clarify this point because there has been some deliberate, mischievous misinterpretation by those who are interested to continue to benefit from corruption in Nigeria, distorting and misleading and mispresenting what Transparency International, CISLAC, you know, does with corruption perception index or the results that comes. We repeat, it is not an assessment of the Nigerian government anti-corruption or its agencies. It is purely looking at public sector corruption. As you all know today, for you to get admission into higher institutions, you have to pay bribe. For you to get even your exam or to even get your results, there's tendency that you are going to pay bribe. For you to get a job in Nigeria today, if you don't pay bribe, forget it. To get passport, international passport, if you don't pay bribe, forget it. To get driving license, if you don't pay bribe, forget it. Everything that has to do with public sector is embedded with the corruption. A lot of Nigerians are suffering, even in abroad, looking for Nigerian passport. Recently, we were made to understand that about 1.5 Nigerians in a particular country in Europe have been looking for passports they are not given because they will ask them go and come back, go and come back, and they will never come. They will never, I mean, they will never get this passport. Even here in Nigeria, try, go see whether you can get a passport despite the fact that you follow the due process. Contracts is also another area that you see how corruption is at play. So ladies and gentlemen, we just want to let those who want to continue to defend corruption in Nigeria that corruption is not dependable because it's destroying our country. It is because of corruption that the insecurity in this country has gone beyond control. Public officials carry money to go and give to bandits, to go and give criminals. Political corruption in Nigeria is one major stumbling block to our actualization of democracy and good governance. People will steal money, come and invest it in the election. We spend billions to organize the election only to end up bringing in crooks and criminals that will come and continue to perpetuate stealing in public sector. We cannot make progress if we continue this way. So in October last year, we received a report from the committee set up by federal government in March 2021 to review Nigeria rating on the 2020 Corruption Perception Index shortly after CISLAC TI released the 2022 Corruption Perception Index. CISLAC sees this move as a good step and would like to call on government to further examine the weaknesses listed below and consider action which will tackle systematic corruption and salvage Nigerian deteriorating image when it comes to corruption. The committee was set up to review the report's release. Unfortunately, again, it was more of like dismissal. Nigerians are even saying that, look, Transparency International is calling it perception, but we are saying it is real. It is reality because Nigerians are facing this corruption on daily basis. Nigerians are suffering from corruption on daily basis. So some Nigerians, they are even insisting it is not real, it is not perception, it is real. But at least from TI, we call it perception. But yet some people in government who are beneficiary of corruption and looting and mismanagement 
and irresponsible governors will come and dismiss that what Nigerians are going through is not corruption, or what T.I. Sislak is talking about, it is not okay with them, simply because they want to depend their corruption, or they want to depend the benefit they are making as a result of corruption. No any sense responsible public officer should be happy with the de corruption deteriorating situation in the country. If you are a patriotic and you fear God and you want this country to move forward, you should not come and be dismissal of the fact that corruption is a major stumbling block to development in the country. What you should rather do is to say what can we do collectively as individual as government, as non-governmental, as private citizen, what can we do to combat corruption? Because we all have responsibility to ensure that corruption is tackled in a manner that it should not have any negative effect or any consequences in our country. But rather, those who are benefiting from corruption, just I tell you in the next couple of hours, you will see they will come and dismiss that what we are saying, it is something else. They will not accept it, that there is a problem of corruption that we all need to work towards addressing it. The government was going to be serious for fighting corruption. The perception changed. You could see that after 2016, when corrupt people noted that the government was just um, not really, you know, um, taking the corruption issue seriously beyond propaganda and campaign, and sometimes occasionally arresting Yahoo Yahoo and those minor, you know, um, criminal, you know, uh, but failing to look at the real politically exposed corrupt persons whose corruption is destroying this country, whose corruption of one person will affect millions of Nigerians. They will look back especially when they change to their party. You cannot say you are fighting corruption when political corruption is on the higher rate. Ladies and gentlemen, Sislak has listed some weaknesses that may have because the reason why our rating you know, has not been improved. And we feel that this area requires immediate improvement for the sake of well-being of Nigeria and Nigerians. We believe that we will all have responsibility or we have responsibility to ensure that we minimize the level of corruption in public sector.